Is it weird if music makes things feel sexier? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Happy Yanksgiving. We are thankful that you are here. Yes, today we're celebrating by trying out Thanksgiving leftover hacks, guessing real or fake Netflix movie descriptions, and getting close with Weird Al Yankovic. First up, we've done a little research. And it turns out that there may have been a scientific reason that Usher wanted to make love in this club. Uh -oh. uh, that's a lyric. Yeah. Uh, a new study has shown that the sexier you perceive certain types of music, the sexier you perceive touch while listening to said music. Yeah, the study had each participant place their forearm through a curtain where it was touched by a controlled robot movement. That's not weird at all. No. And at the same time, they listened to pieces of music, which they later evaluated on a scale of being not at all sexy to extremely sexy. The which is how I rate my life all in general. Oh, life. Yeah. The results being music seems to change our perception of touch. So this is what we thought. If sexy music makes robotic touches sexy, what will it do to us as we experience all types of touches. It's time for Play That Sexy Music Weird Al. Okay, we are going to be experiencing increasingly sexy levels of music as performed by our musical comedy hero, Weird Al Yankovic. Hey, Link. Hey, Weird Al. Hey, Rhett. We're big fans. This is a big moment for us. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, and what's gonna happen is we're gonna have some things. We don't know what they're gonna be. We're not gonna see them. They will be touching us while Al plays different levels of sexy music. And we'll see if as the, uh, the music gets sexier, the feelings get sexier. Okay, Weird Al, play some unsexy music. Got it. <laughs> nice. I can't say I'm enjoying this. Okay. All right, I'm just getting a nice little brush. I have no idea what this is. What it's a little cold, that? it's a little blunt. Okay. <laughs> well. Do you have any idea what touched you? It was like a paintbrush or something. Mine was a little, little bit cold, a little bit hard. It, it was nothing pleasant about it at all. The music was pretty pleasant. Yeah, but it wasn't sexy. Well, you told him not to play sexy and nothing became sexy. Yeah, there was the nothing sexy about the music. There was nothing sexy about the touch. I do as I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing sexy about uh, the touches I was receiving either. They were just like normal, being painted by a paintbrush kind of vibe. You know, yeah. That non-sexy painting vibe. Okay, I'll give us some semi-sexy music. Some, like, like on a scale of 10, like a six? six five. Five, 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 right in the middle. Okay, got it, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I like it. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, I... It's a, I don't know. I don't know what's happening over there, but I'm getting a little nervous. This, the touch is more sexy, but the way that I'm being touched is not very sexy. I'm getting like slapped with something and smushed with something. It's, it's cold. What is this thing? What I don't know is what this it is. Object? Man. I'm being stamped and rubbed. You're being stamped and rubbed? I'm being stamped and rubbed. I'm being poked and prodded. Are we being touched with the same things? What, you being stamped and rubbed? I'm being stamped and rubbed. I'm what like are you being? being like, like poked and like inspected almost. Oh yeah? But in a slightly sexy way. So did that feel sexier than round one for you? The object felt sexier, but the way that the object was touching me felt like very surgical almost. <laughs> You know, like not like unsexy surgery, you know that kind? Yeah, my favorite kind. I don't want to have <laughs> sexy surgery. 
Um, for me, I had a moment very early on that I was freaked out by whatever it is that was touching me. I don't know. But then I kind of focused in on the performance and it relaxed me a little bit. I wouldn't say that I, I was in, in any way aroused, <laughs> but yeah. I would say I was no longer panicking. And there was a moment early on where something like moist was kissing the palm of my hand and like spreading my fingers and like, what, you got finger spreads? I got a finger spread. That's not happening and on I don't this know, side, man. I don't know what it was. That is not happening but, on my side. But I might be attracted to it. Can I request a finger spread? Okay, Weird Al, now you're gonna get super sexy. You want full on sexy full according to Full on sexy to, to the, the max. max. I'm not Whoa. sure you can handle this. <laughs> okay, you asked for it. <laughs> This thing just got a lot hairier. I don't know. It's so hairy. How hairy is yours? Mine's like, feels like rubber, man. It's like, it's, oh, it's got a hole in it. Oh, what is that? That's what? nice. Rough. Pulling the hairs off my arm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to like it, Whoa. but I'm not really, Al. Don't take it personal. <laughs> what you you didn't you didn't find that sexy? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like it was the same object, but the object grew hair. <laughs> like grew sexy hair. <laughs> you know what I mean? My object was different, man. <laughs> <laughs> my object didn't have any hair, but it it felt like it was pulling the hair off of my arm. What was it? I can't see. You can't see it? No. Oh. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> what? I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay, so to recap, the music got sexier, but I didn't, my experience just got weirder. But I don't know, man. I don't well, know Well, first ended. of all, I didn't know you had such a range of sexiness, Al. I've got huge reservoirs of sexiness. <laughs> Untapped. All in that machine right there. Yes, indeed. I personally felt an increase in sexiness. I'm not making this up. I literally, I don't know, it felt like there was the same thing the first two rounds. The third round, the thing was hairy and sexy, and usually I don't think of hairy being sexy, but well, today I did. Let's find out, what, what was in round one? Show us. Well, hello. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, hello. Um, uh, hello, Alex. <laughs> you got Alex. Yeah, I got Alex. And a mannequin arm. That makes a lot of sense, uh, based on what it felt like. I would have said it was something hard and plastic. And you you were petting me with this uh, mm -hmm. rose here. Yes. Okay. That's nice. Well, it didn't feel like a flower. <laughs> it didn't feel that great. I'm so sorry. I tried. <laughs> okay. And what was round two? What is that? It's the dog poop. <laughs> so you were raking dog poop up and down? Yeah, and just squeezing it a little bit. And what oh my goodness. And you, and you had no part in that? No. Too bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Another part of a mannequin. And, and what was round three? Thanks, Alex. <laughs> oh. Who are you? <laughs> a, a silent plumber. <laughs> a brooding plumber. Did it feel sexy? No. Did you know it was a plunger? No, but I was... I could tell it was rubber, and now it makes total sense, except for, well, you don't make total sense. <laughs> Again, a shirtless plumber. Yeah. It's, only, it's the only type of plumber I like. Very intense shirtless plumber. And again, yes, hair, I was right. And uh, this is not what I was picturing, but it did feel sexy to me at the time. Alex, you made me feel sexy. And I, and I think, uh, I smell something. Put that away, man. Get, to, get, get it out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> But but you two can stay. Come bring okay. it in. Bring it in. Now I I, th I think we know who we have to thank for this amazing experience. Yes, Mr. Weird Al. Weird thank Al. you, sir, for coming in here. Thank you so much. You can get tickets for the ridiculously self-indulgent, ill-advised vanity tour at WeirdAl.com and get Al's box set, Squeeze Box, out tomorrow. Look at this thing. This is a freaking box set. It's super cool. <laughs> Multiple.
multiple albums. How many in here, Al? 15. 15? Count them. 15 albums. Click through for some Thanksgiving leftover hacks. Starting tomorrow through Monday, you get a free sticker pack with every online purchase at mythical.store. While supplies last, stick them up.